It is a glorious day here at Margaret River for the Drug Aware Pro. Kai Otten about to take on Alejo Munez, who's back from injury in heat eight of round two. Ronnie Blakey with Ross Williams. And as a re result, missed the first couple of events of the season. But we're seeing Kai Otten take a, an early ride here. He generated a five out of this right, bashing that last section and all those points coming from that manoeuvre, but good to see Alejo back. It really is, and uh, for Alejo, the trippy thing for him that was very unfortunate is he got injured right when he was, I, I felt like, an improved Alejo Moniz, as we see that really sharp, crisp snap right there from him. Nice, strong closing manoeuvre from Alejo. Uh, but the year prior, uh, 2014, we saw Alejo kind of, you know, have a sluggish year and then he came back really hot I, I just he looked fired up he looked better and then he had that injury he, he definitely struggles in Australia for whatever reason 22 and a half minutes to go Alejo on his second wave a trademark calf to slash that he relies on so often coming out a few times on this wave bit repetitive so far, he's going to get the opportunity to try something different at the end here. This wave going dry, still on his board, really risky his fins, but it looks like the uh, the blades are still intact in that panel. But uh, here we go, this is Alejo's last ride, so quite a bit of damage done Ross, but going to that same turn three times. Well, I, a lot of it had to do with the wave, you know, it just had that flatter section, so he went up to the top. I just kind of hacked back. Right there, he finally had a lip, kind of delivered a little more of an exciting section, and he, he nailed it. And he definitely had it, that extra effort of riding out over the rock. But I didn't mind it. I thought it was decent surfing for how flat that wave was. Judges didn't mind it either. 7.33, he moves ahead. Kai Otten after a 6.44. Yeah, uh, he's, the tour's just starting this year, and he's going to have a great year too. So, yeah, stoked to make one more heat here. All right, Kai, we can't wait to see you in round three. Thank you, Rosie. As we see Kai Otten just getting a little hung up there on his second effort to keep their place on the CT. Alex Ribeiro, for me, is going to be one of those guys. Just hasn't looked like winning a heat yet at the CT level. But he might come alive at the next stop, Brazil. Um, and if it does clock around, uh, you know, it's not really forecast to go too much more onto that onshore flow. And it uh, looks like now we got Kai taking a look at this one. Ronnie? Without priority, Kai Otten is going to drive up into the lip here. Solid belt. Gets that down the line flow happening. Attacks the falling lip. Can't stick the move. Has priority, but he's sitting a little further out. Kai Otten, happy to scrap at the moment for a 6.44. Hurt himself on his last ride. Let's see if it affects his performance here as he drives up into the lip. And an awkward fall to finish that wave off as well. What but he's okay. Going on. We've said that a couple of events ago. Sometimes falling is contagious. It definitely seems the case right now for Kai. But I really like this bottom turn. You can see he got his rail engaged better. So he's starting to knife through the water. He got a lot of speed through both of those maneuvers. So things were looking great. Just needed to finish the wave off, but that last section is so tough. It kind of just jumps up at you, uh, and you really have to have quick reflexes. You wouldn't even look at the right, uh, but because these pro surfers, they want to have a steep wall, they're going against the grain. Here's Kai, looking for some big impact maneuvers on a smaller ride to convert it into a good score. Needs a 6.44 to get himself out in front. Just happy to get a finish on this one. After taken a, a couple of beatings on his last two rides. Not fall on one. Finish a wave off. Uh, under priority, so this is okay. You know, be sneaky. Catch an insider. Second maneuver right there for Kai. Decent. Connecting the dots and then finishes this, one, this wave off on the rock. So, he's crawling back into it. Crawling back into it. Needs a 6.44. Waiting for the numbers to come through at the moment. Just over six minutes to go, time ticking by. Alejo's been super patient. He's holding priority out there. And the numbers dropping for Kai now. 5.57, not enough. He's after a 5.87 now. 
to get himself in front. Pretty similar surface, really, really flashy. So it's going to be a fantastic little heat. And as we see, Alejo looking for his second best score here, trying to drop a 4.1 to push further ahead of Otz. Not a super exciting finish, but a bit of work done on the outside. Kai's going to give himself a, a chance coming into the final stages of this one by getting priority back at the takeoff zone. So you can see, watch how much board sinks as he pushes on that deck. Really does knife through it, but he keeps his speed up. That's important. So it's not like he's bogging down just trying to be Mr. Powerful. He's keeping that flow, but... Uh... And uh, some really good battles. Adriano up against Leonardo. And we know Adriano fell out of the, the Bells event at the hands of a replacement surfer in Mason Ho as Kai Otten tucks in on the inside. He's looking for a 6.67, not going to get it. Alejo being kind of selective, so Kai sticking to his guns, staying busy, trying to find a score. He'll be really happy with this result. Such a close heat, 20 seconds now. There is a couple of waves coming. Kai might just get one more chance. He's moving through to the inside. Alejo might not be in a position to even get this wave. But neither is Kai. 10 seconds now. I don't think this next ride is going to reach the competitors in time. And it will be Alejo who takes off on it anyway if he gets the opportunity, but he doesn't. So he gets the jump on Kai here in Heat 8 of Round 2. And it was a, a pretty scrappy affair. No major numbers locked in. Heat score total of 12.23. Enough for Alejo as he makes his return from injury here at the Dragaware Margaret River Pro.